Welcome to the Tesla News Podcast, your daily dose of AI-selected updates on the U.S. carmaker. I'm Watson, your AI host powering the Tesla News Podcast. It's time to plug in, charge up, and spark some electrifying conversation. Let's get amped. The electric vehicle boom and industry dynamics. Automotive sector recovery since May has been driven by registrations of electric and plug-in hybrid cars, though the total volume of car registrations has not yet reached pre-pandemic levels. This recovery is also influenced by a global shortage of semiconductors. Among manufacturers, Tesla led the way in May with a 2.63% market share and 29,400 units delivered. Other players such as SAIC, owner of MG and Maxis, Volkswagen Group also saw an increase in market share. However, not all companies benefited equally. The Hyundai Kia Group lost 5.6 market points in May. Electric Vehicle Market Performance In May, registrations of pure electric cars in Europe grew by 65%, totaling 169,091 units. The Tesla Model Y was ranked as the second best-selling car in Europe while Volkswagen ID.4 had a strong year-on-year growth. Tesla's success can be attributed to the combined effect of government incentives, robust marketing, and price cuts. This popularity and the resilience of electric vehicles, especially Tesla models, are expected to benefit not just the European market but also global sales of electric vehicles. Polestar struggling in EV market dominated by Tesla. Polestar Automotive Holding UK PLC, a struggling electric vehicle company, has stark differences when compared to market leader Tesla. For instance, Polestar sold only 12,076 vehicles in its most recent quarter, compared to Tesla's 420,000 sales. It reported an operating loss of $119 million and saw a staggering 61% stock decline in the past year while EV market expanded by 14%. Now, adverse conditions are causing the company to delay production of its Polestar 3 model until the first quarter of 2024. Of note, Polestar is banking on Tesla's charging station network for selling vehicles in the United States, due to the lack of charging stations being a barrier for EV adoption. Tesla Model Y's Success and Design Breakdown Tesla's Model Y has been the best-selling model, with 267,200 units sold globally in the first quarter. The model's success is due to several innovative features, such as the off-road mode, which uses torque vectoring to facilitate off-road movement. Lars Moravi, the vice president of vehicle engineering at Tesla, explained in a video about the first principles approach Tesla uses in problem solving. For instance, they tackled the problem of aluminum warping during heat treatment by inventing a new alloy that achieves strength and durability without needing to be heat treated, a cost-cutting and time-saving solution. Rapmate launching wraps for Cybertruck. Rapmate, a vehicle graphics company, has launched a wrap configurator for Tesla's upcoming Cybertruck. The configurator allows users to visualize the Cybertruck in different shades and colors using nearly 100 wrap options. Users can choose between satin, gloss, and matte finishes and opt for personalized wrap designs. Cybertruck's stainless steel exterior initially had no plans for color wraps, as Elon Musk previously stated, however third-party options for wrapping the Cybertruck are now emerging. EV manufacturers adopting Tesla's NACS charging standard Several key players in the automotive industry, including General Motors, Ford, Rivian, and Volkswagen, are in talks or have already decided to adopt Tesla's NACS charging system. This change was triggered by Tesla's decision to open up the NACS charging standard. This adoption means that these automakers' vehicles would have access to Tesla's extensive network of 17,000 charging stations. The decision by Volkswagen Group and other manufacturers to adopt the NACS instead of the combined charging system, CCS, could potentially standardize the EV charging infrastructure across North America and eventually worldwide. Polestar vs. Tesla A comparison. Despite struggles, Polestar has been working hard to sell more electric cars. The company has successfully completed two updates in the last six months, enhancing the Polestar 2's consumption and autonomy. In terms of pricing, the company's vehicles cost slightly more than their similar models from Tesla, but they provide a more sophisticated interior design. Material and construction quality have also been cited as superior in Polestar than in Tesla. The Polestar 2 standard range single motor variant now offers a range of up to 536 kilometers, surpassing the Tesla Model 3's range. Tesla dominance in the European market. In Europe, Tesla secured a record volume in May with a 2.63% market share, significantly higher than the previous year. This success is attributed to incentives, market positioning, and continuous price cuts. 
the popularity of Tesla's Model Y, which was Europe's best-selling car between January and May, greatly contributed to this growth. This surge indicates wider consumer acceptance and an increasing demand for electric vehicles, particularly for Tesla models. Standardizing the EV charging infrastructure. Electrify America, a unit of Volkswagen, announced plans to add Tesla's North American charging standard, NACS, connector to its EV charging network by 2025. This decision is part of a recent trend in the industry to adopt Tesla's charging standard, which could increase compatibility and convenience for EV drivers and promote uniformity in North America's charging infrastructure. Volkswagen Group, Ford Motor, General Motors, and other automakers also plan to adopt Tesla's charging design. Impact of Tesla on brand loyalties. According to S&P Global Mobility's 2023 loyalty ranking, Toyota's brand loyalty has been affected by Tesla's presence in the market, slipping 5.7 points from last year to 52.3%. Tesla has experienced a rise in loyalty from nearly every mainstream auto brand, including Toyota. With Tesla topping the luxury brand loyalty ranking at 68%, other luxury brands are struggling to maintain customer loyalty over 50%. This rise in Tesla's loyalty rating has been driven by its success and impressive clout in the market. Adopting Tesla's charging standard. Swedish automaker, Volvo, is adopting Tesla's North American charging standard, NACS, for its electric vehicles, EVs, making it the first European brand to do so. This switch grants Volvo and Polestar EVs access to Tesla's supercharger network in North America. This adoption could potentially make NACS the dominant charging standard in North America and eventually worldwide. However, automakers are awaiting the capability of NACS chargers to handle high-voltage battery systems before making the switch. Tesla's full self-driving technology developments. Tesla CEO Elon Musk confirmed that their full self-driving, FSD, driver assistance technology will no longer be considered a beta with the next update. The technology, which allows Tesla vehicles to drive autonomously in most scenarios, is currently at version 11.3.6. For the next update, FSD Beta 12, driver supervision will still be required. Tesla is also working on auto steer functionality for city streets. However, Tesla's autopilot technology is now under scrutiny from the U.S. Department of Justice after several fatal crashes. Tesla Model 3's Potential Battery Upgrade Reports suggest Tesla is planning to upgrade the entry-level Model 3 with a larger 66 kWh battery pack, said to be more energy-dense and with improved longevity compared to the current model. This upgrade is expected to extend the driving range of the Model 3 by an unspecified amount. These reports coincide with news of a major update for the Tesla Model 3 planned for production in China in the U.S. late this year or early next year. The update includes changes to headlights, exterior styling, interior design, and the introduction of an option for a yoke steering control. Volkswagen's adoption of Tesla's NACS. The Volkswagen Group, with brands such as Audi, Porsche, and Scout, is in talks with Tesla to adopt Tesla's charging port, the North American Charging Standard, NACS, for its North American vehicles. Electrify America, the Volkswagen Group's fast charging network, announced plans to commence installation of NACS connectors at its stations by 2025. However, they are waiting for a clear path to handle high-voltage battery systems reaching 1000V at NACS chargers before deciding to possibly switch from the combined charging system, CCS1, connector to NACS. Tesla Stock Performance Tesla's stock, ticker, TSLA, outperformed the S&P 500's daily gain of 0.45% with a close at $257.50, a plus 0.49% increase from the previous day. Tesla shares have grown by 25.65% in the past month, besting the auto tires truck sector's gain of 19.76% and the S&P 500's gain of 4.25%. Analysts forecast Tesla's earnings at $0.80 cents per share for its next earnings release, a year-over-year -year growth of 5.26%. The full-year consensus estimates are at $3.47 earnings per share and a revenue of $99.36 billion. Recent revisions to analyst estimates for Tesla likely reflect short-term business trends. This is all for today. Tune in tomorrow for more updates and don't forget to like and subscribe. Although hopefully of informative value, the purpose of this video is entertainment and not any kind of advice, especially not investment advice. The content is AI-generated and hence potentially contains errors. Links to articles for further reading on the discussed topics are provided in the video description.